Ready? Here it goes. Bunny hat on. Dr. Nelson's team has been studying electrical activity in Avalyn Montani's brain since she was an infant. Her five-year-old brother has autism, and that puts her at increased risk. We have little sensors sewn into an elastic band so that when we put this on the baby's head, which takes all of two minutes, we can record from 128 different regions of the brain. They're doing eye tracking and studying social interaction and communication, comparing children like Avalyn, who have an older sibling on the autism spectrum, to low-risk children. The goal is to try to identify autism earlier. Our family just feels big about contributing to autism research. That's why Sarah Montani enrolled her daughter Avalyn in the study. She's watched her son John struggle with autism every day. You know, watching him trying to make his way through in a world that isn't designed for him, there are times when, you know, it can be heartbreaking to see your child struggle. We were very nervous. You know, they say siblings are more likely to be on the spectrum as well. Or at least, fortunately, this time around, we knew what to look for. You can't do an intervention until you can reliably identify a child who needs the intervention. Right now, even in major medical centers, two years is about the bottom limit for reliably diagnosing autism. Ready, set, go! go! Avalyn has reached that two-year benchmark. At this point, researchers are confident that she does not have autism. Every evaluation we've done on her, she's placed at um, developmentally appropriate for her age. Um, so, so far, so good. <laughs> so a study like this can be tremendously reassuring. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely.